would you still go into fidelity now as things are? What kind of advice would you give to, to people? Uh, yeah, personally now, if I was 20 years old and had the knowledge that I have as a 34-year-old about the industry, um, if I was to go into an investment bank, I'd go in uh, for a couple of years, but with the target of not being trapped within the investment bank. And you won't be trapped anyway, which is a good thing, because, and this is very, very important for you to understand before you, get, before you ever go into the industry. When you go and work for one of the investment banks, the first two years you're not on a permanent contract. You're a two-year contractor. You're not even an employee of the company. And, you know, I was that at Goldman Sachs, you know, for two years. And you go in as a financial analyst, yeah? And then when you're promoted to associate, that's when you're actually a full-time member of staff. So what you'll find is, is lots of people on the trading floor who are all financial analysts. They're actually, there's, there's hundreds of them, you know, globally, just walking around the offices doing projects, being paid very little for a lot of work with not great career prospects. You know, my day in 2002, uh, two years after I joined, 8% of the original analyst program was still working at the company two years later. So what I would do is go in, get the experience, and actually leave and seek to go to a hedge fund as quickly as possible, or move out of the country and go to an emerging market or a frontier market. But go and learn where the infrastructure is, where you can learn. But don't think you're going to get paid, because you won't. You know, it's, it's you know, crazy that there's guys in the industry now where they've got uh, masters, PhDs, MBAs, and they're going in on programs for two years. And they're bit, what they're bit getting paid on an hourly basis is half what you get paid in McDonald's. So you get guys in corporate finance who are working 90, 100 hours a week. And their per hour salary, per annum, is six pounds. That's half McDonald's. It's half Pret-a-Manger, <laughs> right? <laughs> You know, it's crazy. So I think people have to realize this and wake up to the reality of the numbers, that going to work for these places now uh, isn't going to make you very wealthy in a short space of time. Nowadays, you go for a very long career. Expect to be there for 15 to 25 years before you can actually consider yourself a wealthy person. Um, if I was 20 again, I would go in for a couple of years and then go out to emerging and frontier markets or try and get straight into a hedge fund at the youngest possible age. I hope that answers the question. <laughs>